Um, <laughs> I think Watson ha kind of has the advantage there because he has his barracks in there. He has longer range here, longer sight range anyway, on these tanks. So Watson's got to be super, super careful here. If he loses this, his grip on the middle here, it's probably going to be over for him. Another base coming up for Flash and another base coming up for Watson. So this is going to be a lot of fun here. Okay, Watson is repairing his tanks in the middle. He does not want to lose that middle. That middle is super, super important to him. He's trying to siege and take care of these tanks. And Flash, I think, was a bit too cavalier there. Of course, he did pick up, pick off most of the troops there, but it still just wasn't all of them. Flash taking a base right next to the main uh, of Wasson. <laughs> I think Wasson, uh, that'll be easy for him to drop if he gets drop tech out. Wasson still doesn't have his third base up and running, but Flash has his up and running, so he's going to try to take the economic advantage here and keep it. While going around with a drop ship, not sure what he's going to try to do here, but Wasson is building uh, what looks like a turret over there, or maybe just a spotting supply depot or something over there at the far left. I'll have to take a look at that again and see what building that was, but <laughs> it looks like... Oh man, it looks like Hwasen is going to be foiled here. I don't think he's going to complete this command center. Nope, he does not complete it, so he's going to have to bring in a reinforcement army to help out <laughs> that command center and bring in an SCV-2 to re repair it and get everything done there. So, it looks like he was trying to get two extra bases there, but that didn't quite work out for him. So Hwasen is trying to break the pyramid, actually, from... No, wait, that's Flash. Flash is breaking his own pyramid, I think. Yes, he's breaking his own pyramid here. Not exactly sure why, so I think he's probably just going to use it to make it easier for himself to get troops out. And, okay, it looks like, okay, <laughs> some Goliaths out for Hwasen here, trying to get this freaking vulture out of there so he can expand. <laughs> Goliath actually goes down and Flash is getting out a huge drop here. He's going to drop down there and, and take out all of the new bases from Hwasen. Hwasen is just trying to get so many bases up at once and I don't think it's going to work out for him in the long run. Oh, not enough Goliaths there. If there have been three Goliaths there or uh, maybe two, I think one drop ship probably would have gone down there. But that wasn't the case. Flash is coming in here with another army. Uh, he's going to run over his own mind there. And he's going to siege up and try to take this. And Hwasen is actually in a bad position because he's just being... Ooh, a mine right next to his tanks. So that tank goes down. So Flash is playing a great game here. Great instincts from him, knowing when to drop and where to put mines and everything like that. Taking out another base. So Hwasen's going to have to cancel that base. Hwasen kind of in trouble here. He's... He tried to take a lot of bases at once, and he didn't have enough troops to defend his new bases, so he's kind of in trouble. Flash is taking his fourth base right now, and his fifth, so, <laughs> oh man, but there's turrets here, so it looks like, oh, he's going to have to hold up on floating that command center over. Uh, Hwasen had built a ton of tur turrets down there to... Uh, keep that command center away and at least damage it if Flash tries to take that expansion. That's very smart from him. Smart from Wasson. But Wasson has another base up. He has his fourth base up and running. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And well, he was trying to get a fifth and sixth base there for a while, but it didn't. He couldn't do it. He's trying to get an excess of minerals so it would help him out later in the game. Flash is still holding the lower left, still holding the 8 o'clock positions there. So I think Hwasen's in a bad position. He's going to have to get a larger army out, definitely. Hold the middle and try to take a battle in the middle, I think. Maybe try to get some rays out to deal with the dropships. Because I don't think there are too many dropships out here for Hwasen. Hwasen trying to get rid of these troops that Flash had dropped there. But man, he's fighting an uphill battle because Flash has a lot of troops in here. Okay, both whittled down to about the same army here. Uh, but F Flash is doing good mine usage here. He has some good mine usage. And another drop coming out for Flash. So Flash is being super, super aggressive. He's going to do another drop on what Hwasen has. And let's see what Hwasen does to deal with it. He's building tons of turrets around, and that's actually a great way to deal with this kind of a drop strategy. 
he can at least take down one of the drop ships. He's fending this command center from Flash away, so he's going to keep Flash from taking another base for a while while he tries to take his own. I think it's going to be very tough for Hwasin to take another base from this point on, though. Flash has a good eye on that uh, 8 o'clock position here, but look at all these turrets. Oh, man. No command center floating for Flash in this one. And Hwasin has a nice line of tanks in the middle, so he's definitely still in this game. And oh, Flash is being... Uh, <laughs> pounded here. It looks like that force down there to 8 o'clock finally being cleaned up. And Flash is going to go in for a, a drop here. A big harassment drop, I think. He comes in here, but there's turrets everywhere. He throws in his engineering bay to draw the turret fire. And it looks like Hwasin is bringing in all of his SCVs to get rid of this attack. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, this attack is going to be successful, and Flash is going to be able to move behind Hwasin's base now. He's just playing very, very well. And Hwasin's in huge trouble here. If he loses his base, this might be over for him. He's got to protect all of his bases. doing a good job doing this. Uh, Flash's troops are kind of out of position there. He didn't ferry them all over there, which c might have cost him that little engagement. And Hwasin definitely knows about that uh, 1 o'clock base. So we'll see if he does anything about that soon while he's trying to take his other bases. Whoa, this is a huge line of tanks from both players in the middle. It looks like, oh, wow, this, we're going to see a big battle in the middle, I think. Both players are inching forward. Flash is trying to inch forward and siege at the same time. But Hwasin has a beautiful line of tanks here, so I think he might be able to defend this off. Oh, the barracks coming in, though, so that's going to help Flash a lot. Flash is going to get... A larger uh, field of vision here. Hwasin keeping his part of the middle. Both players really have one half of the middle, so neither is really taken the middle here. And that's a good sign of an even <laughs> TVT. Well, Hwasin looks like he's taking out another base. And if he keeps that line of tanks there and it keeps a lot of turrets around here, I think he's going to have full ma map maneuverability of the lower part of this map. But control tower starport pumping for Hwasin. Hwasin fending off the uh, dropships with a single Goliath there. And we're going to see a stalemate here in the middle for a while. Hwasin's doing a good job of uh, reinforcing here with tanks. And I think he has a larger army than Flash at this point. Al although uh, half of Flash's army is probably in his dropships at this point. Okay, finally another base from Hwasin, I think, is going to come up. He might have to ferry in some troops to help out, because I'm sure Flash is going to drop it soon. I don't see why he wouldn't. He's coming in right now, actually, trying to drop that. Oh, he's uh, ferry <laughs> ferrying over some tanks here, a big block of tanks coming in here, and I think Hwasin was trying to do a mind drag there, but it wasn't quite enough. Flash has his tanks in an excellent position here, so he's finally going to take out the turrets. Those pesky, pesky turrets, and he's going to float his command center over so he can get another base up and running. Watson has some drop ships out now. Uh, not nearly as, mu as many as Flash, but at least he has some. So he's going to be able to drop the siege tanks and take them out because siege tanks cannot fire at things that are one inch away from them. And here comes a force from uh, Watson. I think he's going to try to retake his position over there at the 9 o'clock and uh, keep Flash from expanding there again. So both players are playing very, very well here. I've been impressed by both. And there's Command Center floated over, and it's on fire because of the turret fire. And Wasson's coming in here now with the force. He's bringing in his tanks, and he's bringing in a very large force here to tackle this, but I don't think he's going to make it past this, um, this tank wall from Flash. That's a very nice tank wall. Flash is going to get some reinforcement troops down the map to help out that tank wall so he can take that 9 o'clock and keep it. He's uh, filling up more drop ships, and looks like Hwasin is <laughs> he's chasing a tank with SCVs, and I'm not sure if he's going to be able to take out that tank or not, but he's coming in with small force. SCV almost going down, so nice micro, um, mid-game micro there from Flash. This is actually late game now, so... That was a nice micro indeed. Here comes <laughs> dropships here, finally getting rid of that tank. But now Flash knows that there are dropships in the area, so he's going to know uh, to keep his siege tanks protected. 
with, I'd say, Goliaths or anything else like that. And Flash is moving down the map here. He's throwing in his uh, sh uh, drop chips as well. He's going to drop all over these siege tanks, but he's losing everything. And Huasin's coming in with a reinforcement army here. He's dropping right on top of Flash. So I think Flash might be in a terrible position here. Flash, All of Flash's troops in the middle have been pretty much picked off. He has two tanks left. And I think Huasin has a lot more than that. We could be seeing the monster knocked out of the OSL here. Oh, man. Because uh, Hwasan has a ton of troops left, and uh, Flash lost quite a bit trying to push up there. I think he might have, he might be ferrying more troops back to his own base, trying to get them out of harm's way right now. But I think Hwasan is finally going to take the middle.